Hey everybody, this is GliderCat and it's time to play. Today we're going to start a series on a game called Shapes 2. If you look at the top left of the screen, you can see I'm playing the demo version. That demo should be released on the day that this video posts. Um, you may be familiar with Shapes from the original game. I have a video series on that on the GliderCat channel. That is a ton of fun if you haven't checked it out. Uh, there's DLC with that one too that are awesome. But let's jump into this guy. I'm going to hit play. And that's my little practice session here. I can probably trash that. And let's do a new game. And we, our only option right now, obviously, is the demo. So we'll pick demo. And for the seed, let's generate a random number and then replace it with a one. All right, we'll jump in. This is so cool. Very smooth. I've encountered no defects as expected from this developer, um, but let's jump in. We're gonna go through the tutorial. As welcome operator to the Vortex platform. To advance in your role as an operator, you will need to complete research goals by delivering shapes directly to the Vortex. Completing them grants you upgrades, new structures, and more challenging goals. If you have any doubts or questions, you can call up further information at any time. The knowledge panel can be accessed by pressing G through the top right or through the top right of the screen. Your plans lie in wait. It is time to continue. Check this out. Okay, there's our map. There's kind of the hub. This is the vortex. If you're familiar with the original shapes game. If not, uh, this is where we're going to dump all of the shapes that we create. So we'll just go through the tutorial. It says select extractor with six and place it six. Oh, that must be shortcut key or something. Um, let's do it. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. We got to zoom in to actually, uh, got to zoom in to actually see the hotbar pop up. There it is. Six on our hotbar. Boom. I'm just going to click on it. And they want us to drop one down here. Kerploink. Okay. Shapes must be delivered to the vortex. Select the conveyor belt and drag it to place it. I'm just going to use the mousey here because it's easy. Like that. Deselect the building with the right click. So boink. Now we're out of build mode just by right clicking. And then drag with the right mouse button to destroy a belt. Let's destroy this little section. Boom. You can undo your last action with control Z. That is awesome and it's going to come in handy. Control Y. There's control Z undoing it. Uh, this is handy in case you play multiple games like me and you use your right mouse button to try and move the screen and it doesn't. <laughs> I can quickly get those blocks back. All right. Hold the center mouse button to rotate. Boink, boink. And then if you don't have a center mouse button, you can use, they said JK. Yep. Everything looks good there. Expand factories to avoid waiting. Place four extractors. Okay. Do it. I think we can select it and then just primary click and drag actually, boom, does it. So super easy. Manage the belts by dragging them onto existing ones. It will follow the example they've got there. They've got this guy going through, it looks like. And this guy, just a click and a drag where I want it. Boom. Open the hotkey overview in the top right of the screen. There we go. Um, this C is kind of cool. This allows us when we're dragging belts out to kind of put a kink in the belt where we want it to. Uh, well, I think they're going to give us a tutorial to do that. Um, but that one's super handy. We're going to get to toggle floor visibility. Flip is awesome in factory games. Uh, we'll see those two. That's that. Hey, okay, your main goal is above this hint. Complete the goal. We already did while I was gabbing. These belts kind of continue on. We've got a little item, our shape launcher here and a shape catcher over here. And then these guys are finding their way into the hub. This one looks like it's kind of dead ended. We're not going to worry about that yet. We've already met the objective. And up at the top left of the screen, half destroyer is what we've unlocked. We'll click that. Half destroyer destroys the west half of any shape, outputting what remains. Okay, so we can see it's kind of melting off the left side of these shapes, but it's not the left side. It is actually the west side, and that matters. Down here at the bottom left of the screen, you can see the compass. 
But right now, north is straight ahead, and then we can kind of rotate around. And so however we rotate, or however we place the block, that um, destroyer thing we just unlocked is going to do the west half. So we just need to keep that in mind. All right. What's next? Okay, the new goal requires squares. Explore the vortex platform to find new resources and extract them. Okay, squares are right over here. That's where we can mine squares. And if we look, if it takes a second to look underneath this, this is pretty sweet. <laughs> Check this out. There is actually the deposit of squares. And here's these mining lasers that are actually doing the extraction for us. That looks kind of cool. I like it. And then those squares are being brought up. These little ports here that we can connect to. Okay, we're supposed to do kind of a, a half of a square our next goal let's um okay explore the vortex and extract them okay let's extract some squares here uh rotate with r i'm just gonna click and drag down and get four of these guys extracting okay new unlocks allow for processing shapes in different ways place six half destroyers oh man six half destroyers okay we'll follow the example go under cutting Here's our half destroyer block. Pick that guy. And what do they have? One, two, three squares of space. One, two, three squares of space. And they want six of these. I'm gonna drag those into place. Okay, the vortex accepts any rotation. So that means, see how this block up here at the top left, it's like half of a square. It's like two squares stack on top, but it's half of a big square block. If that was on the top, on the sides, on the bottom, these two squares, however they're oriented, that's gonna count towards this goal, actually. Uh, and that's what they're saying here. The vortex accepts any rotation. Okay, deliver the main goal shape. Let's do it. Um, did they show us the example? Let's see what they want us to do. Okay. Yeah, we'll follow the example. Looks like they got these guys going straight in. And then they branch off this way. And this, I'm guessing, branches here. That's just me clicking and dragging. Super duper easy. And we're going to get a bunch of squares that half squares that all look the same. Let's do it like this. Super easy to build. And I'm just going to drag these all the way up. Check it out. It automatically puts the... Um, a little item launcher at the end of the belt if you drag on to this this uh, this square right next to the vortex that's kind of sweet I'll show you what what I mean see how our main goal has the squares on the left side of the shape we're sending a bunch of squares on the right side of the shape those are still gonna count for us and we'll see that in a second this counter should tick up as soon as these blocks make their way over here. There they go, hopping in, boom. Again, even though they're off to the right of the shape, it still counts. <clears throat> I like it. We're going to meet that one pretty darn quick. It only requires 20 blocks. That's going to get us a 90 degree CW rotator. I'm not sure what the CW means. Something obvious I'm just not getting. It rotates a shape 90 degrees. Awesome kind of tutorial explanation here. This is how it should be done in all games. Looks awesome. You can always find more information in the knowledge panel. Let's look at the knowledge panel. That's uh, up here in the top right. Boom. This sh shows us pretty much everything we need to know for the stuff that we've unlocked so far. And as we unlock more shapes, if you look here down at the bottom, we're going to get more help as we go. So this is what we know to do now. This one's showing the half destroyer. Pretty self-explanatory. Pretty easy to learn. Okay, shapes can be processed in multiple steps. Place a rotator between half destroyers to deliver the goal. All right. This one we need, what, a little slice of pie kind of thing. Let's do it. They want us to destroy, rotate, and destroy again. I think I can just pop these guys here. Boink, boink. They rotate in the middle. Let's see what we end up with. 
I'm gonna get little pieces of pie out of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yep. And that's all we need. Um, you can see we've got a backup here. So maybe we can do something better than what we've got. Let's um let's get a few more of these placed. Uh, there are blueprints that we're gonna unlock later. There's also blocks that will allow us to cut without destroying half of the side, like we're doing now. Um, what if I do this? This can we get a little more production might save these bottom circles we may use those want to see if that keeps up yeah that's not bad right um oh yeah look here we've got another goal so in this game you've got kind of your main goal which is going to do a bunch of unlocks for you and then you've got these side goals that kind of give you bonuses so here's a side goal. If we deliver kind of half circles, 20 of them will get a better cutting speed. Let's that's easy, right? We just put a cutter here. Boink. Um in fact, let's change that. Let's do it here. Doink, doink, doink. Drag this across. Drag this back. And then let's get this belt connected up. If I do, they're going to show us this later, but if I do shift, right click, that will delete everything in the area. We can always control Z if we make a mistake. Control Y if we're happy with it. Oh, go. And let's just get these guys launched off here. Oh, we got something wrong here. What did I do? I uh, didn't do rotates here. Let's get rid of that. That's what we really want. Fortunately, those little half circles count. In fact, we've already unlocked it. It didn't take much. We'll unlock the side goal. Boom. So now our little cutters are going to move faster. And then we also finish the main goal. Let's click that guy. Boom. And we've unlocked the ability to have a second floor. Unlock second floor, allowing you to route belts efficiently. I like it. Animations look pretty darn sweet to me. These little paddles kind of raise up the blocks to the second um, second floor and then bring them back down over there. All right. Use Q and E to switch floors uh, while dragging belt. So let's just test that out real quick. Um, got a belt here. I'm dragging. Now if I hit E to elevate, Boink. Now we're on the second floor. And then Q to lower. Now we're on the first floor. Check it out. Um, we can see that in action if I just do this. Boink. No purpose to doing this other than just showing right now how this works. But there they go. They get lifted up. And get set down. Very cool. I like it. Okay, waiting for shapes is not required. Previews show results in advance. Complete the goal. Previews show the results in advance. Oh. Yeah, as we place down a block. So as I place down this rotator, it's going to show me right on the pop-up um, what shape's going to come out of that. Even if this belt was empty. If I shut that guy off. Let these guys pass through. Uh, maybe not. Now it won't know. Yeah, so it doesn't know. But if I connect this back up, even before the block gets there, it's telling me what's good, what the output's going to be on this uh, little machine here. That's what the help's talking about there, I think. Okay, I like it. Complete the goal. We need squares for a belt speed. Upgrade. That's our side goal. And then our main goal is just one little quadrant um, of a square. So let's, whoops, let's go over to the square side. Uh, this time we're going to have to like rotate and slice. Do that here. Yeah. 
And I'm going to put a slicer. Or no, I need to rotate first, I think. Rotate. Slice. And then we don't care which orientation it is. So these can all go back. Boink. And those should all count. And then let's get rid of this belt. That should meet our needs for the main goal. Unlock the stacker. Then we just need regular old squares. So we can just shift right click and rework this belt. Just send squares in for the um, good little bonus objective to get us belt speed. That's kind of uh, an important one, right? Uh, we need 160 of those. Wonder we might want to speed that one up. It doesn't cost anything to build these blocks. Let's do a couple more on that. Boink, boink. Uh, let's do belt coming across here. Down and down. Oh yeah, yeah. I was talking about putting kinks in the belt. Uh, if we just hit C, boink. Now we just anchored that belt there. And we can put kinks where we want them using the C key. Just adding squares uh, so that we can speed up this objective. Let's see. That, that's probably enough. We're about to unlock our main goal. If we want to see all the goals, uh, it is right here under research, I believe. The top right. This shows us what we've worked on so far, we got that one done, this one done, the main objective on top, and then the side goals are listed below. We completed that side goal. We just did this one, unlock the second floor. Here's our belt speed one that we're working on. And then if I click the top left of the screen, we completed our main goal, boom. Now we've unlocked the stacker. Uh, allows shapes to be stacked and combined. So you can see we got to elevate and then drop one shape on top of the other. And then it's awesome. If you look at the animation, the little stacker thing kind of squishes the shape that you drop on top of the first one. That looks pretty sweet. I like it. All right. What's next? So yeah, those are all the goals. And then let's scroll. How far can we see? Not very, right? Uh, we can kind of see what we're going to get. Blueprints are going to get unlocked, space platforms, demo challenges, and then that's the end of the demo. And then uh, once the full game comes out, you got a whole, <laughs> look at that super massive blueprinting. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. That looks sweet. Tons more objectives. Mind control machine that makes curious people wish list the game. <laughs> Clever. Like it. All right. Where are we at now? Belt speed is almost done. Our main goal, we need to drop a circle on top of a square. Let's do it. Now there's belt speed unlocked. We'll take that one right away. And yeah, let's go for this one. We need, and they're showing us how to do it here. We need to combine circles and squares. Let's do that up top. So I'm going to somewhat unnecessarily, I'm going to grab a few more extractors and get us a fresh belt of circles. Uh, again, C to put a kink in your belt or a turn. And bring these guys out here. Belts don't cost anything. In fact, maybe we'll go all the way out. Boom for now. And then we need squares too. And what do we need? Squares on the bottom, it looks like. If we click on a shape where it identifies the goals, if we click on the shape, it's gonna show us the layout. And then if we wanna see the different layers, we can click this button kind of in the bottom middle. And if we wanna see it really blown up to get a feel for just what that shape is, uh, we've got a few different views we can look at here. 
that's the one we need to do now. A circle on top of a square. Let's bring some squares over and see if we can't get this belt compressed. So we get a compressed belt of squares coming over. Um, I'm just going to put another little extractor block right there. And let's pull these squares off. Just make use of this one. Align these guys up, maybe. You know, where did this? Shift right click. We got a compressed belt of squares. We got kind of an anemic belt of circles. Let's make that more compressed. Boink. A little better. Seems slow, doesn't it? Uh, there it goes. It looks like it's compressed for the belt speed that we have. And now let's follow the tutorial here a little bit. Four stackers, each with a gap between them. So here, stackers, middle of the toolbar. Press F to select the mirrored variant. Uh, the mirrored variant, I rotate this, so we're going to bring in the inputs from the bottom. And the output's coming out to the left. If I wanted to mirror this, just hit F, and now the output goes to the other side. That's what the F key does. Um, we could make use of that to make this look a little nicer, I suppose. Um, if we do, do this. One here, one here, and then I'm going to mirror. Oops, that's rotate, sorry. Flip. F, one there, one there. Kind of wish I moved these up one. Um, that's fine. So what's on the bottom? Squares on the bottom. These guys can come across just like that. And then this belt, we need to raise up. So we'll grab this, hold down the primary mouse button, hit E for elevate, bring it across. Boink. And then um, Q to go back down a level. So now we're getting circles dropped on top of squares. If this belt is in our way, this top belt, we want to see what's underneath. Um, we Down at the bottom right of the screen, there's this little toggle floor visibility. Boom. That'll hide the second floor. You want to see what's underneath. Or you can just hit the V key. Does the same thing. All right, let's get our outputs out of here and flipped into the vortex. Yes, to make this look good. You, you, you. C key. Boink. You, C key. Boink. And then we'll just bring this over. You. You. And so by using the flip key, or the flipping the machines, we are able to get a symmetric design. Um, and then I'm sure it can come in handy for other situations as well. Not exactly saturated belts here. It looks like we could do more, right? These belts are, are stopping. Uh, should we bother? Let's not. Let's do... Okay, let's see. You can build structures on all floors. Place a rotator or a half destroyer on the second floor. All right, let's just do it just to satisfy the um, tutorial. I got to go Q or E to get up a level, and then I can drop a rotator there. Doesn't serve any purpose right now other than to slow us down. I can control Z to get off to remove that. And then Q to get back down. Oil is satisfied. We've got another side objective here that's going to unlock the cutter. The cutter will, um, it's kind of like the destroyer, but it won't break the other, the west half. It'll leave it and have it, and it has two outputs. So that would be kind of nice to have. We need a half a circle and a half a square. Uh, we got circles and squares right here. Kind of makes sense to maybe do it this way. Let's see what we can come up with. Um, let's. Pull circles off this way. Let's bring some of our squares. This belt is backed up anyway. Come here, and then I'm going to anchor with a C, elevate with E, hop over that belt, 
and then go down with Q and let up. So now I've got circles and squares and we need half of each. We met our main objective. Let's go ahead and click that. A 90 degree counter ah, clockwise. That's what the CW was. It's clockwise and then CCW is counterclockwise. We got a new block that allows us to rotate counterclockwise. And help us save a little space in the factory. All right, we've got new suggestions and we've got a new main goal. I want to finish with this cutter suggestion. So let's do it. Uh, if we cut in half here, boink and boink, see what we end up with. Okay, we got a bottom and we've got that. We need to rotate these. Let's do one counterclockwise, then do the other one clockwise. And now these two need to be combined on top of each other. So what we have for that is the stacker. This is going to be kind of slow because I didn't build this to scale. That's all right. To scale up, I mean. Let's do, do a couple stackers here. One there, and I'm going to flip this one. So they share the output belt. Doesn't matter who's on top and who's on the bottom this time. You can go there, and you can go there. And these guys need to hop up. So click E into there, and then I'm going to branch off this way so it looks all right. And then Q to go back down, and we've got one output belt this time, so I can just click and drag this guy over here. And now we're meeting the objective for this side objective here, or suggested one that's going to unlock the cutter for us. That's done. Backing speed and trash. Um, man. This one for trash is pretty easy. We've got half circles and we have um, half squares. And we just need to stack them on top of each other, which means one extra rotation. What if I just put a rotation on? Oh, no, it's two rotations, I think. Circle on top of the square. Okay, circles are already up high. Let's see if we can make that one happen. I need to go E to get to the second floor. I think if I rotate here and rotate here, we can kill two birds with one stone. Let's see how that comes out. It's going to be slow. Yeah. But now we've got that one. It only ugh, 120. Oh, man, it's going to take forever. Let's let these guys do their thing. Let those run, even though it's not scaled up. Let's see if we can focus on the next main goal here in the top left. It's going to unlock blueprints for us, which gets us kind of cut and paste. I think the ability to save blueprints as well. We need mostly a circle and a corner that is a little square. Mostly a circle and a corner that is a little bit of a square. Uh, we could do it over here. Got squares. I can still kind of bring these over. The yeah, it's gonna be a little tricky. Get that shape. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. We need, let's see if we can get the circle shape going first. Um, how about, how about over here? We need to cut. Then we're going to need to cut again. This will come out. Some of these we're going to want to keep. 
Then some of these we're going to want to slice in half again. Um, we're going to need to rotate before we slice in half. Because west, the west side that's going to get sliced off is over to my left right now. Let's put our little slicer guy here. We met our cutter objective. Oh! Hmm. Okay, cutter. Separates the west half of any shape from the east half and outputs both separately. Could make use of that here, too. Um, then we get to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. I'm gonna shift, right click, boom. Instead of using these other cutters. Let's use the normal cutter, not the half destroyer. Okay, so now I got two halves coming out of there. Why do I want to do this? Um, we need to rotate one of these. And leave room in case we won't need to scale this. And we want to cut. And then these halves come through. Trying to get the three quarters of a circle shape here first. And what do we need to do? Those are on the bottom. So this needs a counterclockwise rotation. Oink. And then these need to drop on top of those, right? Oh man, it's taking up a lot of room here. A uh, stacker. Clip. Um, take that back. Clip, boom. Clip, boom. Now these can go up. Half circles. Let's put these, let's send these up. Click, elevate, bring these over like this. These two can kind of come together. That. There's our half circle. Now we got to drop in a little corner of a square. Where can I borrow one of those? Um, I can get a whole bunch of them if I take off of this belt. Do it. Uh, we'll come over. C to anchor. U to go up. I'm sorry, E to go up. You to come down. Boom. And borrow some of those squares. And we're just gonna slice these guys up. Wink. And we're gonna slice some more. Yeah, I think I need to rotate both of these. make this a counterclockwise rotator or a clockwise I should say well, those are both the same and where do we want that corner we want it actually in the top left right top left and we can drop it in doesn't need to match this exactly we want top left. That means counterclockwise rotation for you. Oink. That means two rotations for you. Doesn't matter which way. Oink, oink. These can all come together on a belt. Now these... Come across that maybe those can be the bottoms or stackers 
clip. Clip. And then bring this up. These little tiny squares. E, E. These are crossed. And then yeah, it doesn't matter which side we dump these out on. Let's just come straight across for simplicity. There we go. That's our main objective shape. We need 120. Man, that production's not real fast. Uh, what could we do to scale up? Not worry about scaling up. Let's do the third shape. So trash is that side objective. It's going to unlock the trash block for us. We've only got 10 more to go. Then we've got stacking speed. That'll be a big boost. We need 80 of these three blocks. Three little tiny square blocks. Uh, we can do that over where squares are because we don't need to be near circles. We could just combine these. Uh, let's do it. Got halves over here. I've got Kind of exactly what I need right here, this guy. Um, yeah, let's switch up some things here. Go there. And let's change this thing so that we can leverage both halves of this half, so to speak. You go and you go. I want this cutter. Rotate. 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 Flip. Wink. Um, what is that? Oh, and I need to rotate before I come into there. So let's move that guy over. See how that works. Is that gonna go in? Yeah. We need to combine those. This one's gonna need to rotate counterclockwise. Nope, clockwise, my bad. And then we need stackers. One flip, boom, you flip, boom. Uh, it doesn't matter who's on the bottom and who's on the top. And the way I set this up, I think I need to rotate these two more times. Bear with me. That goes on the bottom. These guys, I might have to wiggle around this way and go up. Something like that. There we go. Check it out. That's going to do it. Let's bring our output belt. We can just connect up to any of these. It's fine. Wait for the other blocks to clear out, and then this should be what we want. There we go. Awesome. I like it. We're getting those on the belt. Very cool. Let's uh, unlock our trash block. Boom. Hey, trash just destroys items. Not much to it. We have a place we can't <clears throat> clear the unnecessary blocks. We can just throw a trash block down. All right. Oh, man, these are super slow. What's going on? Something broke. It's broken. Matter, fellas, uh, we are not getting these little quarter blocks up top. Let's fix that. 
just need to bring these a little further along then go up see if that solves our problem Looks like it's doing it. Just looking to see where we could scale this. This isn't too bad, but look. Oh, man. Let's go back to the main goal. See if we can scale that one up. That is which block? That is this guy. Oh, look where have we got a... Oh, no, no, no. That's right. That's right. That's right. This was for a different objective. I think we can take that block out. These two. And this will automatically double up our production. Not mistaken. The... There we go. That's doubled up. What could we do? To speed things up even further. A little jammed in here. We would want to get... Oh, we could easily double the circles, right? Let's do it. Let's change this circle side up so that we leverage both halves. You go and you go. Use this one. This guy needs a counterclockwise rotation. Okay, that's what we were doing before. And then this guy needs... Whoops, whoops, what's going on? Oh, this guy just needs to be output. Clockwise, is that right? Nope. This one needs to be clockwise. And then somehow I need to get this up there. Um, I suppose we could just... I'm a little cramped in. Yeah, they're not going to let me do that. I could do... Do that. Oops, bear with me. Then maybe get rid of this block here in the middle. Maybe throwing things a little off balance. That's a little bit better. Our stacking speed's kind of holding us up a little bit, but we're about to unlock something uh, that's going to speed up the stacking. I could throw another stacker here in the meantime. Let's do it. What did I do wrong? Uh, that looks right. It's a little better. I suppose we could try and do the same thing. Looks like squares are going to be the problem. Let's scale those up real quick. You and you and you can go. And 
then this needs to be counterclockwise rotated. Boink, and you need clockwise. That's a little more efficient. <clears throat> We're 19 away from having a faster stacking speed. Oh, 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 got problems. Uh, I think I'm rotating these in the wrong direction. I am. Let's do just the opposite. This one counterclockwise. And that one clockwise. Yeah, that's the side they're supposed to be on. Uh, that is an interesting block, and I think that's a block that we're going to need to supply later, this half circle on top of a half square. That's just not what we need right at the moment. There we are. Back to you doing it right. We have circles. How come they're backed up here? And they're backed up here, right? A little jammed in. All right, let's wait for six more of these little guys to go through the three squares. And then we'll see where we're at with the production speed once we get the stacking speed. If it's still slow, maybe we'll look to rework this a little more, this operation over here. Some over here is backed up as well. Um, yeah, half circles aren't making their way through fast enough. I can solve that temporarily just by going like this. That will allow the extras to, uh, should allow the extras to back. So let me fix that. Like that. There, if we have access, they can just vent off into the, um, the vortex. All right, we got stacking speed. Let's unlock that. Let's see what we get. He's speeding up at all. Definitely do this routine over here. I don't know that it shouldn't be needed, but we can do it. Okay, we're starting to put those out twice as fast. We have no side objectives until we complete this main goal. Looks like I have extra half squares. Let's um let's do another stacker. And then can I get more circles? This looks kind of backed up. This one needs a counterclockwise rotation. Clockwise there. It's 
That should get us some more going. We're at 71. We need 120. If we wanted to, we can we could convert this area to doing those same blocks. Um, I don't think it's worth it at this point. Split here and get more squares. Uh, let's let's do it just to do it. See if we can do this. I'm not sure we will be able to. So if I drag this way and go E, yeah, they're not gonna let me. That gets us some more square blocks over here. Run those through a splitter. And can I rotate the way I need to? Yeah, that one's counterclockwise. Or clockwise, sorry. This one here is clockwise. Nope, counterclockwise. All right, we got a bunch more going in now. Okay, blueprints, we've unlocked them. Boink. Allows you to copy paste parts of your factory. Can you? It says, use blueprints to duplicate factories and avoid manual labor. Okay, select buildings using shift and the primary key. I'm just gonna copy some belts here. Shift, primary mouse button. On the selection with control C, boink. Then we can place these. Now it says um, spend at least 50 points. So cloning costs blueprint points. It says over here at the left of the screen. And up top, we just got this new display showing us what our blueprint points are and how we're going about earning them. So as we do this three quarters of a circle in a square block, we're getting one blueprint point for every one that we feed into the vortex. Uh, if we want to do this new shape, we would get two. And then probably once we start doing that one, maybe other ones a lot will unlock. So we can accumulate more blueprint points. But let's, they want us to spend 50 of those points. So I'm just going to spam these down. There we go. Cool. And then I'm just going to shift, right click to get rid of all that. All right. Belt speed two. All right. Same shape came up. That is, right? The same. Oh, no, 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 no. When is it? This guy is getting us belt speed too. We need 600. Oh man, I'd like to scale that up. And then our main goal, um, we need three quarters of a square and just drop a little slice of pie on top of it. Let's find those. Those are over here, right? Three quarters of a square. Um, we don't have any objectives now that use these, so we're going to repurpose these blocks coming off of here. The production line looks really slow. Um, we need to drop a little quarter circle. Maybe got a bunch of quarter circles. I'm kind of over here. Maybe we do that production out this way. The main goal is what I'm looking at now. Quarter circles are going to be easy. These are really slow. Extra way to do these. Let's 
Let's fix this line so that we have a saturated belt of these half blocks. Just gonna delete, try and delete all this. Let's use cutters. Uh, flip. Boink. We just want these all on one side. How are we doing it? We were putting it over there. So this guy gets rotated twice. These guys all connect up. And then we might need to do another setup like that. Let's do it. Yeah, that gives us a bunch of half squares. Not quite saturated though. Hmm. Kind of like that saturated. We do have an upgrade for cutting speed, um, but that's a whole new block we're going to need to have to create. Yet to create, I should say. And let's get rid of this. Kind of wants. Yeah, let's get rid of this part of the line, the belt. Production, shift, right click. Bunch of halvesies, we got plenty of those. Doing two rotations here, probably can do those back here, right? Do that. Just making these um, half squares match up to what the shape really wants. We want them just like that. This guy needs to rotate. Now we'll be sending in a saturated belt of those half squares. These guys, once this belt clears, We'll get a bunch of these. Those, instead of sending them through here, we'll take out a lot of that belt. We want these guys to join us out this way somewhere. We need a little piece of pie. Have some here. We're wasting some. Delete all this. In fact, I might even make use of some new blocks. Let's do it from over here. Let's see, we want, we're going to cut these things in half. These need to be rotated. Down. Oh man. Got a problem over here. 
These guys need to be rotated. And temporarily send this block. These guys. Send those guys in just so I can clear the belt and fix this. Want that. I think I need a clockwise rotation right here, up top. Uh, they won't, they don't like, oh, there it goes. Let's see if I fixed it here or not. <clears throat> We should start seeing them come out the way we want. Uh, not quite. Not quite. They're not quite the same. Oh man, what a mess. I want this block. I need two rotations out of this guy. Bear with me, let me clean this up. This is a bit of a mess here. That is the direction I want, and this guy needs a rotation clockwise. This guy can go. All right, now we're kind of back in action. These ones, and I just need to drop a quarter circle in the bottom right corner. Bottom right corner. You that way. This one gets a clockwise. This gets a counterclockwise. Counterclockwise. 
These guys all come with us. Stackers. Let's do, we need 400 of these. Let's do at least four stackers and we'll try and line them up. I'll put boom. Yeah, at least four of these. Uh, these guys need to be on the bottom. Oops, just click there. And these guys can go up top. I'll put belts, boom, and boom. Awesome. I like it. I think that's the main objective right there, right? Yeah. We need 400 of those. Where's our bottleneck? It looks like it's going to be these guys, right? Let's see if we can fix that, then we'll call it an episode. Um, a little bit of hesitation on this belt, so we just need to copy this guy. Let's, we've got some blueprint points. I'm going to select with shift primary click this. We'll see. And something. This might do it. Let's see if I have enough room to bring these up. Um, what I could do, let's delete this. Send these this way. See if that worked. Where did that block? See what we get. I think that's going to help. And if these back up, then we can just do another one of these configurations. Let's do another cut and paste here. Those coming across. And at the bottom, we're going to change this a bit. You, We're going to have to push off up here, actually, I think, to make this work. Boom. Because these um, splitters kind of use a little pusher mechanism, right there, the little red thing, you can't have it push in two different directions. So it's going to kind of always push off to one side. So now our little saturated belt of little rectangles here is not backed up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty, that looks pretty good. I mean, this isn't saturated. Uh, what's going on? We got to connect the output belt. See how that works. Not bad. That's looking pretty good, actually. That's pretty much saturated. I like it. And then we've got these little corners saturated. And then we'll see if there's a bottleneck here later. Yeah, let's call it an episode here for Analysis Glider Cat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little let's play here on the Shapes 2 demo. 
Uh, this demo is releasing the day that this video posts. Pretty, pretty cool game. Um, this is developed um, by the same developer that did the original shapes and then also did Your Guy O and Your Guy O 2, I think. I'll put links to those games as well in the description, along with links to the Steam page for this and the Discord. But man, is it a cool game and it looks awesome. We didn't look below the vortex. This is pretty sweet too. Back away, boom. Uh, later on, we're gonna get two blocks that have color on them. And then I'm guessing, I don't know for a fact, but these blocks here, I'm wondering if we're gonna be able to mine paint or extract paint from these. Cause there's some, we back up, some here that are just, I'm guessing that's blue, I'm colorblind. Um, where we might just be able to mine the color. Okay, lost, hit H to jump back to the Vortex platform. We'll do that just to dismiss the tutorial message. But if we back up, check it out, check it out. Bunch of block deposits, and then there's some that are just, just color. I'm guessing we're going to be able to extract paint. Um, I don't know how many colors there are. Is there, yeah, that looks like green to me. So they picked a good red greens that are distinguishable for colorblind folks like me. Yeah, that's it for this one. I will see you all in the next episode.